Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hopefully you're doing great. In this video, we'll go over three price action setups that you need to prioritize while reading a price action. Because during our trading sessions, we as traders, we constantly need to make quick snap decisions. We are constantly reanalyzing the chart to make sure we are reading the market context correctly. And for that reason, we only want to prioritize and we only want to look for setups that has the highest likelihood of succeeding. And this is what we're going to talk about in this video. And basically what it all comes down to, it is much more simple than general public would like you to believe. If you want to be a consistently profitable trader, you don't need any fancy indicators and you don't need any complicated strategies. All you need to do is focus on these three setups. Number one is going to be a second entry tool like a pullback with the trend at the proper key entry point. Key entry point is either a trend line support or resistance line or the exponential moving average. So you want to focus on the second entry with the direction of a trade trend. You also want to focus on a felt second entries that goes against the trend. During an uptrend, second entry long is a good high probability setup and a second entry short is most likely going to trap traders who are trying to pick a major trend reversal. So therefore, second entry short failure within an uptrend is going to be a high probability setup. And lastly, most breakouts of consolidating areas of trading ranges will fail. And therefore, any breakout you want to fade, you know, most breakouts fails, you want to be on the other side of the breakout. Now, of course, if you take these three setups blindly, uh, your win percentage is going to be still decent, but not as high as you would like. And this is where the skill of reading the price action comes into play. And this is where you want to properly analyze the context. So we're going to talk about how to analyze the context and how to look for these setups. Today's structure started with a looking for like a trading range with a bullish bias. Why this is a bullish bias? Because we keep making higher highs, higher lows, and we are slowly trending higher. So you guys see that I have these short term trend lines on the chart. And I have this for one specific reason. When I have a break of a trend line, traders will most likely create a new extreme. This is the break and this is the new extreme indicating that the downtrend played out. I have an uptrend, I have a break, I have a new high form indicating that the uptrend played out. All right. And I'm doing the same thing all over the place. I'm drawing the shorten trend line. And here we have our first high probability setup. We have a new low and we have a first entry short, pull back, second entry short. And also we have a new high right here, first entry long, pull back, second entry long. Since the uptrend played out, so the most recent trend right now is bearish downtrend. And we have a break and we wait for a new extreme of the bearish downtrend. So this is the two legged pullback that I depicted right here with the proper context. And there's the break. There's the new extreme, which indicates that the downtrend played out. Downtrend can continue working lower. All right. It can happen. But the way we would find that out would be if there would be a strong rejection of the EMA, but it didn't happen. EMA didn't put any resistance and we instantly reversed and pushed through it. This is indicating that this downtrend truly played out and we are looking for reasons to go long. This was the lowest low that we formed after this downtrend played out and we are starting our count over and we have a first entry short, push higher above EMA, second entry short. All right. And if you take a look at this, this picture right here, this is the felt second entry short that goes against the trend because the downtrend played out and the uptrend is right now the most recent trend. So this is the second entry short this is the two like a pullback, which would be a high probability setup, but it goes against the trend and we are pushing above the EMA. So this would be a high probability setup. All right. Now, this second entry short failure is quite far away from EMA. So this is not particularly the setup that I would like. But this lesson is mostly going to be about understanding the three main patterns that you want to look for. As the price keeps pushing higher, notice how I keep drawing the short -term trend lines. I have a break. I have a new extreme. And you keep pushing higher quite strongly. So there is a possibility that there can be a higher and larger pattern in play. Something like this, which gives even more strength to the overall bullish bias. So I have a break of a trend line. I have a new extreme. And you guys can see that I wrote here a depletion. When you see a big bars at the very end of the move, at the very end of the trend, a lot of times that indicates the depletion or exhaustion for the trend and the larger correction is most likely going to follow. So you guys can see you have a break, new extreme, and also this is the failed breakout above this key level, right? I didn't mark this setup. Why? Because the overall bullish bias was so strong that you don't want to be 
risking fading the breakout, even though if you combine it with the depletion, this can be a much safer entry. All right, I keep drawing the trend lines, even if it's with the direction of a trend, you know, there is a bigger uptrend and I need to draw my shortened trend lines even for the corrections. And you guys can see I have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, but this is a horrible signal bar. You cannot go long above bearish bar and there is no trigger above this bullish bar plus you're inside of this channel so there is no second entry long right here but you guys see if you took this blindly without the proper context and without the proper signal bar you would got burned here all right take a look how this key level is forming at, at, at that point on you're possibly expecting for price to go all the way down here but it didn't happen price pushed higher above ema gave you a higher low setup and they're indicating strong push above ema once more and this felt second entry short this is the setup that we talked about earlier two felt attempts to go short against the trend overall trend is up this is the new low first entry long short second entry short failure off the key entry point this is extremely important this bar is nicely hugging the ema and you have room to this prior swing so this is a high probability setup notice how you don't worry about taking all these setups up here all these setups down here those are not high probability you only focus on the best setups that you can when it comes to high probability setups they generally take time to develop and they're most likely not going to be a high probability setup right after high probability setup and you guys can see after this fell second entry short we didn't go much higher we created sort of like a double top and we instantly reversed we have a second entry long right here above the above the bearish bar which is not a great bar to have but i only marked it just for you guys to see that you need to combine the proper market context with the proper price action setup so this would be a two like a pullback that would have failed but you don't want to go long above this bar and you don't want to go long especially after you didn't really push that much higher because you would be expecting for price to push all the way down here and not for price to create close like a double top and a little correction all right at this point on you have bunch of bars going sideways and this is now the felt breakout this is the price action pattern that most breakouts will fail you guys can see a lot of bars going sideways you broke to the downside you're with the direction of a trend so you're buying with the trend this is the felt breakout and also on a slightly larger scale this is the two-legged pullback these are the two major legs right so this is the felt breakout and two major legs off the exponential moving average it worked barely enough for scalp and price action reversed and made a push higher and notice there is no high probability setup that i'm marking here you have a new extreme you have first entry long pullback second entry long but you're not at the key entry point so you're not taking a trade remember maybe i haven't pointed that out you only want to focus on these setups at the proper key entry points at the trend lines at the support resistance lines or at the exponential moving average all right this is why you cannot go long here because there is no key entry point plus the shortened downtrend is in play you need to wait for the corrections to play out all right market broke this trend line and created a first entry short second entry short this is the two leg pullback high probability setup off the ema i think it was a little bit too early still to pull the trigger here because you may be expecting for price to create a new high for the overall uptrend so i haven't marked this trade right here but this is the for you guys to see that this is the two leg pullback there is the new low and there's the first entry short pullback a second entry short i was a little bit afraid to go short directly into this key level so this is why i skipped this trade but you guys can see how reliable these patterns are second entry short at ema second entry short you haven't quite touched the ema so this is why i don't like it also you have a break and a new low of the short and downtrend and you are at the key level so you don't know what may happen market push lower as the market is pushing lower and is keeps pushing lower this normally indicates that there is a larger pattern in play and this was the pattern that i was looking for at the time and market created new extreme you have a first entry short which is not yet the high probability setup you have a second entry short you have the two leg -like pullback once again all right you have this second entry but this time it is with the downtrend so this is the only thing you're focusing you're not focusing a bunch of first entries you're not chasing the market going sh selling all the way at these lows this is how you're going to get trapped trying to risk a lot once you're getting far away from this key entry point wait for price come to the key entry point and wait for price to create the two leg -like pullback also this is the first break so you're expecting for market to create a new extreme all right so you have three good second entry shorts 
but this one is with the proper market context and is at the proper key entry point. Hopefully that makes sense. And the market keeps pushing lower, keeps pushing lower. You're not interested in any of these setups far away from EMA and you're definitely not picking a bottom. Take a look what would have been happening to you if you were trying to pick bottom every single time. This is a falling knife. Stick with the trend. Even though we have a break and a new extreme, you still want to see a reversal pattern before you go long. All right. But this is such a strong downtrend that you don't even want to look for a reversal pattern. Market push lower. You have a new extreme. You have a first entry short little pullback second entry short this is the two leg gap pullback once again with the direction of a trend and as we turn down at this point on i realized that there could be a higher pattern because take a look how many new lows you're making from this break new low new extreme new extreme new extreme constantly you're making new extreme so this is where i'm going to make my pattern slightly wider all right so the green pattern is right now valid because the first two swings confirmed it First two swings set the trend line up, third swing confirmed it, and I'm not taking this first entry, and I have a second entry short, lower high, confirming the key entry point, not just one, not just one, but two, and I am able to sell of two key entry points, EMA and this trend line, and look what would have happened. Quick, easy scalp, four high probability setups in a row, all right? Take a look where you find yourself. You find yourself at another major key level. This was the high, higher key level, this is the lower key level. And like, just like we talk about, most breakouts of trading ranges will fail. And this is on the bigger picture, a large trading range with a big downtrend, right? And this is why I'm not marking the failed breakout, but it works like a clockwork. You broke this key level and you the breakout failed. But I, I'm not marking the longs here. Why? Because the downtrend is so big and the trading range is so large that, let me just quickly measure it. This is 60 and a half point downtrend in trading ranges once the trading range is big enough that there are trends legit trends within the trading range you need to stop fading the breakouts fading the breakout mainly goes in small to medium ones once the trading range is large skip fading the breakouts because this is a 60 point downtrend and you never know how many few pushes you're going to make down and this is exactly what would have happened but you don't want to go short take a look you have a new low first entry short pull back second entry short you would go short directly below the key level what when you're expecting for breakout to fail this is why the context is everything you cannot just close your eyes throw darts at the board and take every second entry you see you will make much more money if you combine it with the proper market context all right plus you already move way too low and this is where your common sense is telling you i need to start selling because i've seen this market go down like this but you need to realize that in trading you want to wait for people to take profit and the deeper the correction the better you want to sell at the highs you cannot afford to sell at the lows all right and notice how once again i keep drawing my shortened trend lines i didn't draw it right here but i have a break attempt to create a new extreme a break a new extreme right here i have a trend line i have a break new extreme and there's a new low first entry short a second entry short but this time it's above the ema all right we were supposed to push below ema and take a look there's the shortened uptrend i cannot go short just yet all right, I'm definitely not thinking about buying because this is the 60 point move downtrend. All right, so there is a break, attempt to create a new extreme and a big bearish bar with the lower high, a lower high situation that closed below EMA off the key entry point. And plus this is the first break of this entire downtrend. So you're expecting for price to create a new extreme. And this is exactly what happened. New extreme was formed. And once you see a new extreme, that's when you want to stop selling just yet. This is why you have a new low, first entry short, second entry short. I'm not marking this because it pushed above the EMA. You're inside of this uptrend and you just formed a new extreme. So there's going to be a correction at hand. You cannot go short just yet. You you have a rules. You don't cherry pick. You have a break, new extreme. So you're waiting for price to correct itself, especially after such a strong downtrend. This area was very confusing because you have a major downtrend working lower. At the same time, you're hovering around this key entry, uh, around this key level. You guys can see that the EMA is getting flat, and I didn't mark any setup at this point on because price is looking fairly bullish. It's looking fairly bearish. It's looking fairly bullish, and finally, market showed you the direction where it's wanting, where it want to go. And once the EMA is flat like this, you're starting to chop around. Uh, it is better to avoid it. Any setups right here, you have a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure which probably tells you that this bigger downtrend is going to play out. But I still think that this is quite hard to recognize in real time because there is this big uh, consolidation area. Once 
market formed this high and indicated you that we're pushing back slowly below EMA. This is where you start looking for your larger pattern because right now we haven't just moved 60 points. Right now we have moved 69, almost 70 points and we keep pushing lo lower. This was the fell breakout and from the fell breakout, you're expecting for price to make it to the other side of the trading range or at least to the middle and it didn't happen. You just barely chopped around above this key level and you instantly pull back down. This is good indication that the downtrend is resuming strong push below EMA. You have a new extreme. So remember what I'm looking at, I'm looking for second entry with the trend. Trend is now down. So I have a new new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. This is once again the two legged pullback at the EMA at the key entry point. So you have the context in play, you have the key entry point, you have the two legged pullback, and you have a nice signal bar iron on this inside bar. Plus the uptrend played out with the little break new extreme form so you know that the buyers are no longer in control and the overall bias is bearish all right and take a look at what, what of a nice trade this would have been you have a new low and once again you're not worried about entering all the way down here you cannot react on fear of missing out that you missed some of these high probability setups and you're going to chase the market all the way down at these lows it worked on a day like this because the downshow was so strong but it may not work and you're risking um it, you're risking without reason skip taking these trades all the way down to here you have a new low first entry short second entry short once again can you guess why it is not marked because it is not at the ema all right you already moved way too down even though the bias is so strong bearish you're taking a chance you wait for price to get to the key entry point you have a new low first entry short second entry short off the exponential moving average you're basically shorting after this entire move played out so this is aggressive but since you have a, such a nice bar it was quick easy scalp off the exponential moving average i marked it anyway but looking back you're going short uh, directly into the low of the day which is quite risky all right but once again you're focusing just on the three high probability setups now we could have been looking for let's say new high first entry long second entry long failure remember second entry shorts with the downtrend are high probability setups and second entry longs are going to be traps so if the second entry long will fail, that's a trap. But I'm not marking any of these failed second entry longs, new high, first entry long, second entry long failure, because you already move way too down. You're quite far away from EMA, this short right here. So this is why I'm not marking this and I'm only focusing on the second entry with the trend, all right? You have a new extreme, you have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short, close below EMA. There is a little bit of resistance starting to form. You have a break attempt to create a new extreme. But this was such a strong downtrend and you have this resistance. This is a trade worth a chance. And you created a new swing low. You have first entry short, second entry short. With the direction of a trend, you have no key entry points. So you're thinking, shall I take this? Probably not. But you draw the resistance and you understand that we've been going sideways. How do I know? I have multiple bottoms, multiple tops, and EMA is flat. And most breakouts of trading ranges will fail so this is going to be a high probability setup so you combine a second entry short with the failed breakout with the overall direction which is down or look at the massive downtrend now you're not thinking about buying at all even though you keep making multiple bottoms quadruple bottoms i don't care when the when you make 100 point move downtrend down you're not thinking about quickly buying all right so the priced once again, created a triple bottom and you have a first entry short, pullback, second entry short. You have this short term uptrend that played out with the break, new extreme. You closed above the EMA, so this is a little bit disturbing. You really want for price to close below. But how, take a look how this strong key entry point is holding multiple multiple tops. You're once again shorting with the direction of a trend. You can treat it as a failed breakout. I tried to enter on this bar right here once it showed you that you're really not going higher but it took off so quickly this one is slightly slightly aggressive since you close above the ema and you're very close to key entry points you you might expect price to push here but since this is a trading range and most breakouts fail you're at the highs uptrend played out second entry short this is the tool i get pullback this is how you want to trade right and once again market push lower and you're broke below this trading range most breakouts fail but you're not buying why because the overall bias is down don't pick a bottom once again you have a first entry short second entry short you're not taking this you're far away from key entry point you're shorting at the very low of the day okay you always have to wait for price 
come to you, to your key entry point. You have a new low, first entry short, second entry short, but you close above the EMA and you have no key entry point. You have no trading range, no resistance, no fill break higher. You have, you're not below EMA and you're not, you're not at the trend line. So this is in a no man's land and you see you would have got easy trap, but still trading is about taking a chance. No strategy is perfect. So if you take every single second entry, you're still going to have 70% win percentage blindly. All right. Just goes to show you how just you need to focus on the second entries. You have a break of this trend line, new extreme form. So that means that we're expecting correction or straight up reversal. You have a strong move higher. Uh, at this point, on this is starting to be quite confusing a lot of the times because according to price action rules, after break a new extreme, you're expecting correction or straight up reversal. But when you have such a strong downtrend, strong trend, you know that you're most likely going to be making new extremes and new extremes constantly. So I don't recommend looking for longs unless you have really a proven uptrend working in that bullish direction because the overall bigger patterns always takes precedence. And when you move 100 points down, that's the bigger pattern. So I haven't marked any long here. I haven't marked even any short here because it's not really clear what's going to happen here. You have a break. You have first leg to new extreme, pull back second leg to new extreme. So you know that the uptrend played out. You have a push lower below EMA indicating strong bearish momentum. And once again, you're not one, you're not even thinking about a bunch of these setups. You actually have a new high, first entry long, second entry long failure. But it, it is a horrible doji bar. And take a look, you push strong below EMA, and we'll look what you have. New low, first entry short, second entry short, two-legged pullback on a bigger picture. You have a break and a new extreme of the uptrend that indicates that it played out. And you're at the key entry point and you have a nice signal bar. This is the second entry short. Once again, you, you push lower. And look what you have here. First entry short. I don't care. Even if it's a key entry point, I don't care. I have a new low. I have a, another new low. So I'm no longer thinking about uh, selling. And market keeps rolling up higher. But uh, I already started doing this lesson and uh, it is getting quite late. And we have once again, the volatility still remains. But hopefully you guys uh, understand that these three setups... Oh, making me let make it a little bit visible these three setups are your bread and butter that you focus on but you need to read the proper market context draw your trend lines stick with the trend and know you're not going to be perfect especially when you're learning you're going to make a lot of mistakes but with time it will get much and much easier and you will realize that your mainly main your mistakes are coming mainly from your from your mind because you're probably forcing trades you're taking a trades that are risky that you shouldn't been taking you're not waiting for signal bars to finish you're trying to pick bottoms or trying to pick tops you're you're tweaking the rules just a little bit and your mind is playing tricks with you and you are not really you know trained yet to um to to contain your mind so remember the psychological aspect of trading is even more important than this you can learn this within two, three years. You can find these setups easily and have 70% win percentage. Almost anybody can do that. But to remain patient and not jump the gun, not be afraid of taking trades because not taking a trade is a trading error as well. When you see a nice second entry at the key entry point with the trend, you need to pull the trigger because if you don't, that means that the next setup you will take, if it's a losing trade, you don't have your numbers all right. Because you're supposed to be taking the high, high probability trades. And if you're skipping them, that your math is not on point, right? So the more setups, high probability you take, the overall in the long run, uh, your numbers are going to be better, right? So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you guys uh, find it useful. Keep, keep looking for these setups. Let me quickly make it here. Break, new extreme. You have a break new stream first entry long second entry long big push lower you have a new low first let me just finish it quickly since i'm already doing this you you have a new low first entry short so you're not interested you have a new low first entry short second entry short where at the key entry point price cannot let price ema cannot let price close above it and then you have a clear new extreme and two legs so i wouldn't take this second entry short you have a second entry short right here first entry short second entry short but ema is holding you guys can see how reliable the two-legged like pullback pattern is but you since you already have a break in a new extreme i think it's getting quite risky to keep forcing trades so i'm not going i'm not a fan of this trade all right 
So I'm going to wrap it up. Enjoy the weekend. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.